Have you ever tried to skydive into a plane? I've never skydived. What about arm wrestling a bear or reenacting medieval warfare? What? We're gonna be reacting to the most extreme sports on the planet, bear arm wrestling. Wait, it's a bear arm wrestling a bear arm. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not sold that this is a real bear. What do you think it's like that SpongeBob episode where it's like the gorilla suit and he zips it down? <laughs> There's no way you actually arm wrestle a bear and you're just chill about it. Look how big his claws are, them things is huge. Oh, he beat him. Oh my gosh, that is a real bear. I thought of some dude in a costume. These men just arm wrestled a legit bear. Extreme sports. Botashi. This is Botashi. In my limited knowledge, I've been told it's 150 people versus 150 other people. Uh -huh. And you have to like knock the guy off the top of the pole. Okay. And there's a sea of people and everybody just kicks each other and in the face. Literally just fling each other at each other. Looks safe. Now, if you thought that was extreme, up next we got pillow fighting. When you said that, I thought it was going to be a bunch of like people in like a basement and like not a real thing. This is like legit. There's cameramen. There's got a yeah, ring. This is real professional pillow fighting. I want to do this. PFC, hit me up. I'm good at pillow fighting. How do they make sure nobody like puts like marbles in their pillow or anything? I'm you know? sure it doesn't take much time for a judge to go. There's no marbles in here. He didn't know about my little pouch I had underneath. <laughs> I'm sure the king against your head sound would give it away. Why is that person bleeding from a pillow? This is called reverse skydiving. Let's see what it's about. So you start on a mountain and you wingsuit off and you have to have a guy with a plane open the door and they're going to land in the plane? Shout out to Fred and Vince. They're doing this live. Let's be honest. What happens if you hit the propeller in the front of the plane? A bee comes? I'm asking what happens to them, not if a bee shows up. Oh, uh, they turn into confetti. Did they launch confetti? Yeah. But then what do they do after that? You're going to keep doing this <laughs> bro, wait, no way. No, that's insane. Shout out to Vince. Vince really got it. What if as you're coming in the door, you just whack your head on the wing and then you just fall? That would knock you out and then you just never wake up. You'd wake up but be in heaven. <laughs> if you thought that was epic, keep watching because later in this video, there's a literal medieval war reenacted in a sport. I guess I now have to watch all the way to the end. This is called Om Bashiri, right? Om Bashira. I'm going to be honest, I don't fully understand it, but apparently they have to get this log all the way down the mountain and it shows bravery. I would say so. People are getting like ran over by that log. Oh, they're riding the log down. Full sin. Yo, this kind of reminds me of Vinland Saga. You think that's how they used to like get around back in the day? It does not seem effective at all. I mean, there's nothing like chopping a tree down with the boys, <laughs> hopping on it and just log scooting down a hill. And tying giant ropes, lining up tons of people, flinging it down a hill that would probably take two seconds to walk down. This next extreme sport is arguably my favorite. This is chess boxing. You start off with the game of chess. You both make some moves and then when the bell rings, they pick up the chessboard and then you start boxing each other. Got you. Okay, so it's like brains versus brawn. And then in between it, you have to be like, he had his knight at D3. That means I'm going to need to castle and take my rook to B5. So imagine you're Magnus Carlsen and you just try to always win before the boxing happens. Yo, who wins in chess boxing? Magnus Carlsen, the greatest chess player to ever live, or Mike Tyson, arguably one of the best boxers to ever live. Logan Paul just pops up. He's like, what'd you say? You're making a mockery of the sport and I don't appreciate it. I'm not not Logan. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry. I'm friends with Logan. I can say that now. So this is called cheese running. You got me. First word, cheese, done. Oh my gosh. That guy lit. Yo, he's still going. He yeeted his head so into the first the one down the hill gets the cheese. I'm not going to lie. This does look like it would be fun. Yeah, until you get absolutely annihilated by the guy behind you. Isle of Man. It's a Yo, race at the Isle of Man. There's an Isle of Man. It definitely looks extreme. They're like getting mad air and the road's wet. Bro. Okay, there's no way you can Bro, process Bro, yeah, that. you could not pay me to do this. Oh! 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 oh that sucks. On. Imagine you're just crushing it, and then someone else gets in a wreck, which gets you in a wreck. Imagine dragons. These nuts over my face? The band. Yo, hot air balloon warfare! It's not warfare. Calm oh, down. Uh, calm. They're walking between. What do you mean? Oh, this is the first extreme stream sport. Look, no lines, nothing. You fall, you're done. Yo, did someone just say lit? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it, they made this, which is the coolest thing ever, instantly it honestly, just uncool. It honestly kind of ruined my vibe. I was really vibing with it, but now like, yeah. They deserve to fall here. <laughs> okay, okay, as long as he falls. Hey, there he goes. Yo, that's lit. As he's falling, he's like, yo, this is so lit. We got to talk about those concrete grippers right there. Why he got him dogs out? Oh, look at the gap in between his big toe and his middle toe. Why your feet look like that, dog? <laughs> oh, he's got an umbrella. That'll make it so if he falls, he'll be fine, right? 
Nope. Ice cross downhill. Oh, this is cool. This is a- Wait, 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 wait. Let's go back to that crowd shot. Oh, never mind. I was gonna say, see if you can find a single woman in the crowd, but there's actually quite a few. Dude, That's look right. at how happy this gentleman right here is. This guy is just a god. He's probably a modeling now. This guy just wants to go home. <laughs> Yo, these POV shots make it seem way scarier. Yeah, like this. Oh. This is pro slapping. Oh. oh. Oh my goodness. Even he was shocked by his own slap. He was like, oh crap, I maybe shouldn't have done that. Wait, he doesn't get a slap back? He would if he was still conscious. Wow. Oh my God. Would you let that guy slap you, but you get everything you've ever wanted in life? Yeah, of course. Slap me right now. Not you, him. He said it. <laughs> now it is time for medieval MMA. Dana White, if you're watching, take notes. Oh my gosh. Okay, I really didn't expect it like that. Yo, I didn't know it was that brutal. Holy yeah. crap, they're actually hitting each other with real weapons. Yeah, so these guys have like 70 to 80 pounds of armor on them. I mean, even if the blade's not sharp, getting hit with a large piece of metal Bro, still hurts. Literally no one here is arguing that this doesn't hurt. I'm not arguing, I'm reacting. What do you want me to do, just stand in silence? <laughs> yeah, just stand there and look cute. Bro, yo, oh my god. Holy crap. Crap. Yo, he looked like he cost five elixir, bro. <laughs> Did you know that cows that live in a mountainous area, their legs are longer on one side of their bodies? Really? No. <laughs> It's just my favorite thing to do to people. I'm having lower back pain and you still did that to me. And I hear about your lower back pain one more time. I'm gonna reset your spine like SpongeBob style when Squidward was like, my back. Yo, we also used to do this, except for we still uh, used a four wheeler and we pulled sleds through the grass. How about you pull some women? You wanted to say the other word, but you I can't. Did. We're family friendly. Yeah, whoa. So you're just telling me that I could have just been skiing anywhere? Instead of taking an Uber, like what? just Ski somewhere. Why do they sell skis only in mountainous and snow areas? A Toyota executive's watching and he's like, oh, we're about to go out of business. We gotta start making skis. <laughs> Bumble soccer. This looks like a Mr. Beast video from 2016. It does. Kind of looks like a Sidemen video. Just I mean. because there's soccer, you think the British YouTubers have to take over? The fact that you called it soccer shows we don't care. The American <laughs> way. We come up with new names for things that don't make sense and then we force everybody else to use them. <gasps> Germany's not even called Germany. What do they call? Deutschland. Comment what you call Germany. Germany. Is that us being American? No, that is really us being Yo, Americans. Americans suck. <laughs> Unicycle football. Bro, I love how the sport is so dumb they can't even get a real field. This is what you would think like medieval MMA would be yeah, or yeah. some of the other sports, but it's like. Just a bunch of bros in a parking lot. Is their goal to get hurt? Cause it looks like there's no other goal other than to get hurt. Whoa. Wait a minute. How did that rock wall get so high up? Is it on a helicopter you think? What's your guess? Obviously a hot air balloon. What do you mean obviously? How would you have known it was a hot air balloon? Uh oh, Jimmy's fallen. I don't know if this is safe for YouTube. Oh, he has a parachute. Oh, okay, there you go. Anyway, he has a parachute. You gotta stop burping, it's making me hungry. I think that's the first time that sentence has ever been spoken. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, what is this man doing? What are my boss thoughts? Me trying to just drive in the morning, and then there's that one guy who's like, I am speed, my bike is everything. Yo, he's still doing it. He's actually winning and he's not even pedaling. He's aerodynamic, bro. Ski paragliding. Oh, that's oh. fast. Holy crap. Oh my gosh. He's like, yeah, I gotta swing past Bro, look that at those quick. lips. They looked a little juicy. Seeing how it's cold out, you would think they'd be chapped. That's oh, what I was yeah. thinking. I, I bet you that guy puts lip balm on multiple times a day. I want to congratulate him. Like, good job. You have nice lips. <laughs> mud bogging, baby! Yeah! It's yeah. a football field of mud, and you have to try to drive your truck through. Whoever can make it the farthest is cooler. Oh people, my God. Yeah, people come out with like the craziest. I've actually been to one of these before. Of course like, you have. What do you mean, of course I This is fun. Let people just drive through the mud with big vehicles, man. I wasn't making fun of the vehicles through the mud. I was making fun of you for being a redneck. It's very pale, actually. Actually, your neck is a little red. It's because I shaved right, right there, and I got tell. some razor burn. I'm on my baby face arc. It's cute. Thank you. Hey, it's a Harlem Globetrotter. Oh, it's going down. It is going down very fast. That looks so fun. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Nice. I don't want to be that guy. He kind of slowed down right there. It very slowed down. I, I think he should have just splat on the ground. You know what? Out of revolt, I'm going to end the video. Bye.